guys, it's Maria. Today I'm going to do a video touring my capsule wardrobe. I did a video like this about a year ago and that was when I stored my clothing on a clothing rack, which I'd been doing for about two to three years at that point. So I actually grew up with a closet about the size of this one behind me, which I've since moved my wardrobe into. Starting off, I have two pairs of black jeans. Unfortunately, where I work, it's somewhat formal, so we can only wear jeans on Fridays, so I pretty much rotate between these two at least uh, once a week on Fridays. I do have one pair of black slacks that are 100% polyester. I bought these over a year ago because I wanted to have some nicer work clothes, but it turns out that I actually wear them on the weekend a fair amount as well. When I go to places that are a bit nicer, like me, museums and um, like art exhibits. This is just a simple black mini skirt that I got at H&M shortly after I relocated to New York for work. When I first moved here about two years ago, I was really intimidated by what everyone was wearing just because it was a lot more formal than what I was used to in the Midwest. So I did spend a lot of time at H&M because I thought I needed to quickly build up a professional wardrobe and I didn't have a lot of money. This is a two-piece black jumpsuit that I was given to by a company called Veta. They specialize in making capsule wardrobes that you can actually just buy and all of the pieces mix and match together. All of their clothing is made in New York City in the garment district and I've been really happy with this jumpsuit. I actually wear it at least once a week. I cycle between it and my black dresses as my work uniform. These are my four black work dresses. I cycle between wearing these pretty much every single week. Last year I did a project where I wore the same black dress for 30 days in a row. It's kind of a social experiment and a test of a fast fashion dress. So one of those I still wear and then I purchased three others so I could wear it during the week and I'm planning on making my own dress to be the fifth one in the collection. This is one of my two black turtlenecks. I've Pretty much always loved these since I was a teenager. It, I, I think it all started when I got a really drastic haircut. My hair was super short and when I first got the haircut I was so worried because I looked really different and I didn't like the way I looked in any of my clothes except this one turtleneck. And ever since then I think it's just kind of been my default safe choice. So I have two of them, I'm currently wearing the other one. This is one of the two t-shirts that I have in my wardrobe, excluding the ones that are in my gym clothes. And it's from Madewell, 100% cotton, and just really comfortable, goes with a lot of different things. I don't have too many sweaters, but this is my one black crop sweater. So moving on from the black clothes, I do have a tan, kind of mustard colored uh, in black plaid checkered sweater. This is a great sweater for fall and I primarily just wear this during fall and winter, especially with a black turtleneck underneath. Around the same time that I got my black polyester work slacks, I also got this polyester nude tan color uh, blouse that has been really nice for work and nicer weekend activities. I probably wouldn't buy this shirt today uh, just because I'm a little bit more knowledgeable uh, about the types of fabrics and companies that I like to wear and support, but until, until I can no longer wear it, I'll probably uh, still keep it in my wardrobe. Moving on to the white clothes in my wardrobe, I have this kind of heathered white gray pencil skirt that I primarily also just wear to work. I have two white button up blouses, one in the back that's longer. I typically wear on the weekends and for more informal things. And then the white one is also pretty informal, but I have been able to wear it at work with my high-waisted black polyester slacks. And finally, in the white category, I have this white polyester blouse that I also bought around the same time as the pants and the nude lace top. Again, it's been pretty good for work. It hasn't lasted through the wears as well as the other items, um, but it's still in, in my wardrobe until it, it can't be worn anymore. I also have a pair of denim overalls that I keep in my wardrobe for every season. I bought these a few years ago. I did a video about them, which I'll link in the upper right hand corner. 
I do have some items that are out of season, which I have hung up right here. Um, my accent color in my capsule wardrobe is a light crystal blue, which turns out is most of my out of season <laughs> clothes for fall and winter. I do have a crystal blue coat, which I wear in the colder seasons, um, which actually looks really nice and goes well with all of my other black and tan and white clothes as well. So. Because I don't have that many clothes, I'm able to store these items on one of the hooks that comes with the closet. I used to store my out of season clothes away under the bed and in different boxes and would just kind of parse them out through throughout the year and the season as the weather changed. However, I've stopped doing that because I found that I will forget that I have done that. It'll be halfway through the season and I'll discover them and find that, you know, I've really done without them. So I'd rather just keep them in sight and be able to wear things, you know, depending on the weather of the day instead of having to remember to go look for them um, and, and take them out of storage. At the bottom of my closet, I keep my jewelry box where I obviously store my jewelry, but also some small accessories like scarves and hair clips. And at the top of my closet, I keep a clear plastic pull-out drawer for my gym clothes. And I recently did a video kind of walking through how I have a gym uniform, which I'll link in the upper right corner. And then I also have some small boxes where I keep socks and underwear. I keep my pajamas and kind of like houseware lounge clothes in a pull-out drawer under our bed. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more of my wardrobe, you can go to my website, which is goldzipper.squarespace.com, and you can browse everything I have in my wardrobe. Um, I'm starting to add the story behind all of the items so you can read when I bought items and kind of why and if there's an interesting story behind them. Um, I'm also inventorying and tracking the data behind my wardrobe. So if you're interested in seeing where things were created, uh, how much they cost, the materials that they're made of, and things like that, you can interact with a um, few visualizations that I have. And then finally, I am working on creating a little gold zipper club um, with these cool sustainable fashion enamel pins that will hopefully be coming out early next year so if you want to see some pictures of those and um, submit your name so that you can uh, be, stay up to date with those then go ahead and do that.